Hello there. Recently I was gifted a couple of fans and a box of air filters. The makings of a pair of Corsi Rosenthal boxes. Those are the fancy but inexpensive air filters designed during COVID to help reduce indoor air pollution, but they can also be useful in a 3D printing environment. My print cave is overfilling with 3D printers. This isn't even all of them, there's another rack. Mind where I'm looking. While I'm not running them as a print farm all the time, my filtration could use an upgrade. Currently it's, uh, that window up there. Yeah. I do have a fan that fits the window nicely, but not when it's raining. Moreover, our makerspace is working on permanent filtration for the laser cutters and SLA 3D printers, but while we wait on permits and funding, this box can hopefully improve the indoor air quality there, too. I picked up an air quality monitor, too, because I wanted to see the results. Right, stick them back there. I haven't used the monitor before. Got it because it has a nice display and covers everything we should be looking for. Namely, we have two different levels of particulate matter and the volatile organic compounds. The Corsi Rosenthal should especially reduce the particulate matter quite quickly. Alright. See if you can find the parts. Ignore that printer. I'm gathering most of my intel from the Corsi Rosenthal Wikipedia page. There's a nice diagram showing you exactly how this goes together. Throw the link down below. Maybe even splash it up right now. I think we can make that happen. None of this is my original work. I just figured I'd record my experience with it, using it in a home shop and in a makerspace. Let's see how they do. So, got 20 inch box fan. This is Alaska as recommended. The box that the fan came in. This is an important part of the build. Random cardboard work too. And four air filters. And since the colors of Nova Labs are orange and gray, I got some orange duct tape. They looked at me real funny when I asked for gray duct tape, so that's why we're doing orange. Also using a second pair of hands. This is just blue painter's tape. It's hard to assemble this as one person, just getting the dust sticky duct tape in there. So I use this a lot just to seal up the corners. Makes it easier when you're doing this um, solo. Anyways, let's start the build. Well, that's sorted. These filters should last between five and six months, according to the internet reports. I'm sure we'll do about that down here in personal basement, I'm guessing a bit less in the maker space, but we are working on professional filtration there. All right, I'm gonna take this into the other room, set her up. We'll do a little time lapse of right when we turn it on for the first time. All right, so I've been printing PET G, ELA, and TPU pretty much all day. 
really cool. Tracheas. For a local fire department to practice um, safe lives. Anyways, air quality meter is here. It has all the intakes on the back, closest to the printer, so hopefully it's measuring more of the quality in the room and not the exhaust fan right here. And for reference, this room is about 12 by 14. I'm going to close the door. Sorry about the uh, added noise, but it's got to be done. I'll stick you into a time lapse, run this for 3 4 hours. Well, it's still running. You can feel the air come in. Not sure this monitor is measuring all that much. Particularly, it doesn't look like the particle particulates it should be. But, it does definitely smell a lot fresher in here. Anything you need to do is find a way to clear off one of the shelves. Get this installed in the corner where it's not bothering. But yeah, I'm going to try and run this in the labs for a bit. We'll see how that goes. See if this guy does any uh, more interesting metrics. But, it seems the air quality wasn't bad enough down here to be truly effective. Done. So, feels good to have the filtration. So our little monitor is not reading very much air pollution in here. I'm sending this up early morning before I go to work. But we're gonna plug it in, run it. You can definitely smell the SLA fumes and a bit of the uh, nice charring scent from the lasers. We'll fire it up, see how it goes. Moment of truth. <laughs> Running it on low speed, we're gonna let it run all day, come back afterwards, see if there's any subjective difference. Doesn't look like Maybe the monitor just hasn't been here long enough to settle up. You'll see he's already dropped. Particulates are a little higher, but still, not seeing any problems in here. Anyways, we'll come back and see how it is. Back into the lab, roughly eight hours later, something like that. Filter is still running strong. Our VOCs are way down, pulling in the dust. I feel like the filter is actually a little discolored. We did have at least two people use the laser earlier on uh, MDF. There's been one SLA print that went and not going anymore. Something to catch one in action, but I would say it's a pretty successful quick build. And you can still smell the burnt MDF, but you really can't detect the SLA fumes at all. Pretty good. Anyways, thanks for watching and uh, happy printing.